Are there any other quiet places? There are plenty. Different places, like cafes or temples, are quiet because visitors respect others and keep silent as common courtesy. Some places require people to remain silent, such as the library. Or some places are simply not usually surrounded by people, like most parks and gardens in the morning. Why do people like to spend time in quiet places? I guess the answer to this question varies. Some people find the absence of sound a perfect opportunity to focus on their work or study. That's why libraries often become a popular hangout spot before final exams. Also, some introverted people love spending time in quiet cafes or parks where the tempo of life has slowed down a bit since these places give them great peace of mind. What kind of places are crowded? Most obviously, urban environments tend to be incredibly crowded whereas rural areas are often sparsely populated. There are also specific occasions that draw large crowds such as music festivals, political rallies and sports events. For example, when Vietnam's national football team win a match, people flood the streets of cities to celebrate the victory in massive crowds. Another classic case of a crowded place would be pagodas during the days surrounding the Lunar New Year. At this time throngs of people visit holy places in order to pay their respects and pray for good fortune in the coming year. Do you like crowded place? Not really. I have to admit that I am an introverted person, so I tend to keep myself to myself. Moreover, spending time reading books and having a cup of coffee in tranquil places is my cup of tea. Why do people like to visit historical places? Well, we can't go to future places, and the present is familiar and maybe uninteresting, so it makes sense that people want a chance to get a small window into what life was like in the past. There's a big difference between reading about a historic location in a book, and then actually experiencing the atmosphere of the place first hand.